2021 was certainly an interesting year in manufacturing. U.S. manufacturers are still coping with the COVID-19 pandemic. There were shortages of microchips and skilled labor, and the automotive industry is continuing to shift from producing gas-powered vehicles to electric vehicles. I'm joined today by John Sprovieri, Chief Editor of Assembly, and Austin Weber, Senior Editor of Assembly, and they are here to count down the top 10 manufacturing stories from 2021. I think uh, one of the biggest things that, uh, that we saw in 2021 was just this unprecedented level of investment, of capital investment in the automotive industry. A lot of that, of course, is related to uh, the transition from gas-powered vehicles to electric vehicles. Well, it's increased smart factories and Industry 4.0 technology. The article in particular was about Schneider Electric, a French company. One article that got a lot of attention on our website this year uh, was a piece about flexible robotic cells for automating uh, back-end operations in electronics assembly. These cells or uh, micro factories were uh, created by an innovative company out of San Francisco uh, called Bright Machines. That would be our 2021 Assembly Plan of the Year Award, which was presented to GKN Automotive in Newton, North Carolina. And just as a, a, a public service announcement, we're currently soliciting nominations for our 2022 Assembly Plan of the Year Award on our Assembly website. Sure. That would have to be the labor shortage in manufacturing right now in the U.S., um, according to the Federal Bureau of Labor Statistics, there are uh, something like 800,000 manufacturing jobs that are unfilled right now. And to me, that is just staggering um, uh, when you think that, you know, we, we still have a, a what, a 4% unemployment rate. Um, uh, as of December, um, the manufacturing jobs in the U.S. are, have, recovered mostly to the level of where they were uh, prior to the pandemic. We're about 2% down right now. Um, so we're pretty much at where we were, but uh, manufacturers, uh, because of the pandemic, because of supply chain problems, more manufacturers are bringing work back home. They are reshoring and they cannot find help. The bicycle industry has emerged as one of the few beneficiaries of the recent coronavirus pandemic, as people search for ways to stay active, entertain children, and commute to work. Bicycle manufacturing tends to be a cyclical industry that experiences dramatic booms and busts. Uh, in fact, the downward spiral in domestic production has been reversed in recent years due to a number of factors. The uh, shortage of microchips has cost the uh, global automotive industry uh, $210 billion in lost revenue uh, last year and uh, the loss of 11 uh, million units. So uh, that's 11 million cars, trucks, motorcycles that did not get produced throughout the world last year because there simply were not microchips. Last year, we just, this chip shortage, we just saw these, you know, rolling stoppages at uh, OEM facilities uh, across the country, whether it be GM or Ford or Toyota or Nissan. Just in September, for example, uh, GM had to extend downtime at uh, its uh, pickup factories in, in the United States and Canada and Mexico. Now, there is help on the way. Uh, Samsung, uh, Texas Instruments, uh, a company called uh, SK Stiltron, uh, and some others, they are uh, building new uh, chip uh, manufacturing facilities, uh, many of which are going to be right here in the U.S. But, you know, it takes a long time to get one of these facilities up and running. So there's not going to be, you know, help tomorrow. That's uh, uh, a story that we're going to continue to follow uh, um, this year and in and, and years to come. EV pickup trucks, electric powered, battery powered pickup trucks. It's the hottest segment of the electric vehicle market. Everyone is scrambling because it's a popular segment and a very lucrative for automakers. One of my favorite articles from 2021 and uh, coincidentally one of the uh, best read uh, is an article I wrote on digital transformation in the medical device manufacturing industry. And, uh, you know, medical device makers are increasingly embracing digital technologies to increase efficiency, decrease lead times, 
uh, uh, become more agile and meet regulatory requirements. And uh, this article was really uh, special for me, uh, uh, not just because of the technology, but because uh, people in this industry are, are notoriously uh, tight-lipped. And I was able to get uh, manufacturing executives from a number of companies to really open up and, and talk to me and tell me about what their companies were doing. Let the sun shine, solar powered vehicles. Lack of battery charging infrastructure and range anxiety have been the Achilles heel of electric vehicles. Some engineers believe that solar power may be the solution. The goal is to integrate photovoltaics into electric vehicles. That would enable them to recharge without stopping. Unlike traditional EVs that must periodically pull over to recharge batteries during a long road trip, solar cars can just keep on going. For more news and insights on assembling discrete parts into finished products and the people behind it all, visit our website, assemblymag.com, and be sure to subscribe to the podcast to keep up with our latest episodes. We're also on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook, so we invite you to follow us there too. This has been Assembly Audible. Thanks for listening.